Good morning. So glad you've joined us today for DA Lives, what's new in SOLIDWORKS 21 and 3D experience. Without further ado, I'll hand things over to Bob McGoy, Randy Simmons, and Todd Myers. Using the 3D Experience platform is a revolutionary way to transform how your business operates. It connects people so they can effectively collaborate on projects. It connects your data to tools that help you make informed decisions about your designs. And it connects your team to design applications that run in a browser, which reduces the need for costly hardware. With many of us working remotely, there's questions about how we securely centralize our data, how we improve collaboration, how we design concurrently, and how can we do this using SOLIDWORKS. Square Robot sought to address these questions and challenges when they adopted cloud data management with SOLIDWORKS and the 3D Experience platform. So let's follow the design team at Square Robot as they show us what it's like to store and manage SOLIDWORKS data in the cloud. Let's begin by dropping in on our engineer, Eric, to see how his day is starting in SOLIDWORKS Desktop. He receives a notification from his manager, Megan. Clicking on the pop-up takes him to a community post discussing a design change. He's being asked to add some rollers to an existing assembly. He does a CAD model search and drags it into his SOLIDWORKS session. It's that simple for him to access the data and it's all secure and on the platform. He reserves the assembly and now it's his for write access. He's made this change, but before he saves it back to the cloud, he wants to know where that assembly is being used. With Relationships app, it gives him a graphic view of the parent-child dependencies. He finds the top level assembly and opens it right inside of his SOLIDWORKS session. Choosing lightweight means that SOLIDWORKS doesn't have to download every component for that assembly. This is a big time saver for a large assembly. This is usually one that Eric works with quite a bit. With the top level assembly open, he reserves it and saves. Eric creates a new version of the lid, now with the rollers added. Despite being a pretty large assembly, save time is efficient because it's only saving files that need to be changed up to the cloud. In fact, his team has been productive from day one because connecting their data to the cloud requires no customization and no special setup. Later on, Eric still has some work to do that doesn't require modeling in SOLIDWORKS. All his 3D experience apps are accessible from any browser. And with his data safely in the cloud, he has the freedom and mobility to keep working from just about anywhere on any device. First, he loads the top level assembly into the product structure explorer. This app provides a graphical view and list view at the same time. He can arrange and filter the display in any way he likes. He needs to locate the newly added roller assembly within the structure in order to attach the supporting document. In this case, a PDF with installation instructions. Now it's time to give Megan an update on his progress. Instead of an email or a phone call or a web meeting, Eric tailors his interactive dashboard that will have exactly the information he wants her to review. First, he adds the 3D Play viewing app preloaded with the top level assembly. He also grabs a screenshot he can post back to the discussion thread. Next, he launches the Bookmarks app. This is a convenient way of organizing shortcuts to frequently used or favorite items. His manager Megan likes this because it keeps her most important data right at her fingertips. When he's ready to share the dashboard, he just copies the link. As a last step, Eric opens up his 3D Swim app in a side panel. He adds a comment pastes the link to the shared dashboard, and then inserts a screenshot of his latest design. Connecting SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform is the best of both worlds, cloud and desktop. You just saw that it provides a fast and easy way to store, manage, and share design data with the convenience and security of the cloud. There's little to no setup required, so users can be productive right away. And the 3D Experience platform is much more than just saving SOLIDWORKS data to the cloud. For non-CAD users like Megan, the engineering manager, the platform gives her a simple approach to managing her team more efficiently. Let's see how she uses the 3D Experience apps to streamline collaboration. Megan opens her browser and sees that Eric has replied to her post. He's included a link that she can add to her existing dashboard. The 3D Play viewing app and bookmarks app are preloaded with the data Megan needs to review the latest design 
just as Eric laid out for her. With 3D Play, you get fully interactive viewing of large, complex 3D models, and it works on any device, even your tablet or phone. There's no special hardware, and 3D Play doesn't require any CAD license. It's available to anyone able to access your platform. The 3D Play app also includes a measure tool, which Megan is using here to verify the proper radius on the wall roller assembly. With the measure tool, you can specify which units to use, and here the 25-inch radius is confirmed. But looking closer at the roller arms, Megan wonders if there might be excessive twisting without a support member between them. So she launches Issue 3D to log a record of the issue. This is just one of the many ways the team can use the 3D Experience platform to track problems and change requests. She tags the relevant 3D models and verifies the right people are assigned to the issue. In this case, Eric will automatically be notified from the platform. There's no need for Megan to follow up via email or a phone. It's all streamlined and in the platform with collaboration. Now she launches 3D Markup. This app gives her extended tools to document the issue. She can create multiple views and various annotations right on the 3D model. The markup and all relevant information are self-contained within the issue and available for anyone to view. While Eric gets to work on the design issue, Megan has a job for Debbie the designer. She uses the Collaborative Task app to assign Debbie with adding a hardware kit and creating drawings for the wheel roller assembly. Just like with the issue app, Collaborative Task collects all the communications, assignees, 3D models in one spot and displays the progress for all her tasks in a single dashboard tab, giving Megan an overview of everything that should be on her radar. The 3D Experience platform helps Megan streamline the collaboration with her team, all in a browser on any device with no software installed. It's an intuitive app that eliminates dozens of disconnected solutions, improving productivity and providing clear focus for her team members. All right, so the team would like to get a quick response to the customer. To do this, they'll need to work on the same SolidWorks model at the same time. Not having proper write access or even accidentally overriding someone else's work are things that can happen all the time with traditional file-based data management. And it's even harder when workers are remote. So let's see how the 3D Experience platform enables a more error-free approach to concurrent design. First, let's check in on Debbie. She has the Collaborative Tasks app running inside her SOLIDWORKS task pane. She sees the task that has been assigned to her and drags it into In Progress. The related CAD model is already attached. She just needs to open it into her SOLIDWORKS session. All of the changes that Debbie needs to make are at the assembly level so she only needs to reserve the top level for write access. Jumping ahead, she's added the fastener kit and saves to the cloud so any other user with proper access will be able to see her latest updates. Next, she lays out a 2D drawing with a bill of material that Megan will need to show to the customer. Meanwhile, Eric gets to work on the stability problem. The Issue Management app keeps track of his progress and carries along all the information he needs to get to work. He starts by opening the attached 3D markup. He sees Megan's notes and clicks through the 3D geometry to find the affected subassembly. Megan attached the roller assembly, but Eric needs to reference its parent assembly as well. He can easily locate it using the Relations app. From there, it's an easy drag and drop to attach that assembly to the issue as well. Then, with a right click, he can open it directly in his SOLIDWORKS session. And this is where it gets interesting because this is the same assembly that Debbie is already working on. That's okay because Eric only needs write access to the wheel roller assembly itself. The top assembly is just for visual reference. He reserves what he needs and gets to work adding a stabilizing member. When he tries to save the assembly, he sees there are subcomponents that also need to be saved that he didn't reserve. On the fly, the software can give him access to those additional files, all without causing an interruption to Eric's workflow. The save is now complete, 
and the assembly is up to date and safely uploaded to the cloud. Eric moves the issue status to in approval for Megan to review. Since Debbie is still working on the assembly, Eric lets her know he's finished making changes. He uses the built-in conversations tool to send her an instant message. So now, what does Debbie do? She just needs to refresh the assembly that she has open in RAM with the latest version from the platform. She's now up to date, including the drawings, and now ready to save everything in as well. To close the loop, she returns to the collaborative task, attaches the drawing, leaves a comment for Megan, and moves the task to completed. All without leaving the SOLIDWORKS session. All right, now let's go back to Megan. One way she keeps up to date with her team is through her notifications panel. Anytime there's a status change, an update, or comment on anything she's involved with, it will show up here. First, she checks on the issues she assigned to Eric. Her original 3D markup automatically shows the latest design changes. Everything looks good, so she marks the issue as completed. Issue management on the 3D Experience platform is a great way for their company to log the history of the problem reports and changes. Now to take a look at Debbie's work. Megan switches to her bookmarks apps. There's the drawing. She drags it right into the 3D Play viewer. It's exactly what she needs to be able to show the concept to the customer. She marks the drawing as released so it cannot be changed during the customer approval process. Then, Megan posts a quick comment on her original discussion thread to let them all know that this step is finished and she is off to see the customer with the ideas. Multiple designers accessing the same files simultaneously. We all know how tricky that can be with traditional file-based storage. But with SOLIDWORKS plus the 3D Experience platform, concurrent design is easy because the PLM tools are ready to use right out of the box. Users can tell right away who's working on what so they can avoid common problems like permission issues, non-matching versions, and accidental overwrites. And when there are changes, the notification tools built into the 3D Experience platform keep everyone in the loop and keeps a history of it all. Now, more than ever, companies are looking for ways to centralize and secure their SOLIDWORKS desktop data in the cloud while streamlining collaboration and enabling error-free concurrent design. For Square Robot, SOLIDWORKS and Inovia made this a reality.